Welcome to Vox Fide, the voice of faith, an apostolate of God's word through the media. Vox Fide brings you into the inner life of the world made flesh with an intensity that truly changes everything, transforming faith and character, satisfying the true hunger of the soul. Father Chris guides us in the lives of the saints in St. Lee's series. Welcome to St. Lee's series. Today, 13th of June, the church celebrates the feast day of St. Anthony of Padua, confessor and doctor of the church. St. Anthony was born in the year 1195 AD in Lisbon, Portugal, and was baptized with the name Ferdinand Buyo. His parents, Martins and Teresa, were very wealthy and faithful Christians. In the year 1210 AD, Anthony joined the Augustinians in Lisbon, where he saw the bodies of five first Franciscans who were martyred in Morocco. This sparked a push in Anthony desiring martyrdom. With permission from his brethren in the monastery, he joined the mendicant order of St. Francis of Assisi. It was while he was here that he took the name Anthony. Anthony meaning a caring person, a loyal person, a loving person. At his own request, Anthony asked that he be sent to Morocco so that he will engage with the Muslims, bringing them to conversion. But this mission was short-lived because Anthony took ill and was forced to return. On his way back, his ship suffered a great storm and this made the ship land in Sicily. And from here, he made his way to Assisi. This was where he met St. Francis of Assisi. While here, Anthony, out of humility, shielded his gifts, his knowledge, and he was assigned menial jobs in the monastery. But one day, his exceptional gift of preaching God's word was revealed. Upon the absence of the priest who was meant to preach at a certain ordination, Anthony was now asked to preach. And his gift of preaching was completely laid out. In the year 1230, Anthony moved to a monastery that he had co-founded with his brothers in Padua and spent the remaining part of his life there. And there, Anthony continued the good works. No wonder Anthony is popularly called Saint Anthony of Padua, even though he is not from Padua. Anthony was notable for his eloquence and his selfless care for others, especially the poor. He is depicted as one who went about distributing arms, especially bread, to the poor. He also had the zeal to set prisoners free. He had the zeal to refute the heresies of the time and his preaching against avarice 
and tyranny knew no bound. With humility, Anthony defended the real presence of Christ in the Holy Eucharist. This he further demonstrated when the story of the horse that was starved for three days is told. Having starved this horse for three days, upon release, the horse was facing its food. And Anthony, holding the Blessed Sacrament, was behind. As soon as the horse was let loose, instead of approaching its food, it went straight to where Anthony had exposed the Blessed Sacrament. And the horse knelt down in adoration. Anthony is best known for his gifts of tongues, for his gifts of miracles, for his gifts of prophecies. He is invoked as the patron saint of Portugal, the patron saint of travelers, the patron saint of pregnant and barren women. Anthony is invoked further as the one to call on for the recovery of lost items. A popular title given to Anthony is that he is the hammer of heretics. He died in the year 1231, precisely on the 13th of June, and he died in Padua, Italy. But his tongue, 30 years after his death, when his remains were exhumed, his tongue still remains incorruptible, fresh, reddish. It's still like that till date. We too, like Anthony, can pursue the true knowledge of God in total humility and zeal. Anthony was canonized on the 30th of May, 1232, the following year after his death, by Pope Gregory IX. He was declared a doctor of the church on the 16th of January, 1946, by Pope Pius XII. The liturgical color of the day is white, the color of heaven. God bless you. I am Father Chris, Vox Fide. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Vox Fide Publication, Instagram at Vox Fide One, Twitter at Fide Vox, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Vox Fide. Don't also forget to like, share, and drop your thoughts in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. Vox Fidei, God is in charge.